Oh, wait, go, go. We need to get him into the ICU now. At the hospital! Doctor, we have a 28-year-old man suffering from fractured ribs and skull, and an extradural hemorrhage. There's also a large wound on his leg that's been open since he was transported here. The car crash he was involved in has left him in critical condition. Let's prep for a craniectomy and open reduction plus internal fixation of fracture. We want to make sure the skull sustains the least damage. Yes, sir. After operations? Where, where am I? You're in the Swedish Medical Center ICU, Adam. Oh, oh my God, what, what happened to me? You are currently here because you were involved in a car crash. We're lucky that you came when you did. Any later and your skull would have been in danger of swelling to the point it would cause permanent brain damage. Luckily, your craniectomy was a success. We also treated your leg wound and fractures, so you should be all set. It was quite the nasty crash. Well, I guess this is all reassuring. Do you know how long until I can go home? We're going to keep you in the ICU for a few more days just to make sure there's no recurrent swelling or that anything nasty happens with your leg wound. Your fractures will also take a few days to heal, so two birds with one stone. Let us know if anything with your ribs, skull, or legs start to act up or feel painful in the next few days. Okay. Thanks so much, Doc. I really appreciate all the care taken for this situation. No problem. We'll be checking on you every day just to ensure nothing else comes up. Five days later! Doctor, Adam has begun developing pneumonia-like symptoms. He's complaining a lot about chest pains, he's coughing, and he's got shortness of breath. Mm, okay, let's uh, give him some tycoplanin and piperacin. This should treat him and put him back to the state he was in post-op. Yes, sir. Ten days later! So Adam, how are you feeling? I think the pneumonia is going away, but I feel like I'm still burning up. Mm, this isn't normal. Nurse, can we uh, remove his catheter? I'm afraid something else may be happening with Adam and I'll need a blood culture to be conducted to be sure. We also need to change his treatment from Piper Aslan to Dorapena. Got it. Two days later. So nurse, what are the results of the culture? It's just as you feared, Doctor. The tycoplanin and the piperacillin aren't working. Looks like he's developed enterobacter cloacae, and it's resistant to almost everything we can give him. Alright then, let's run another test. Since the organism is resistant to ertapenum, let's conduct a carbapenemase gene test. Right away, sir. Twelve hours later. What's the news? He's tested positive for Verona imipenemase. My god. A carbapenum hydrolyzing metallo beta lactamase gene? We must change his treatment. From the dorapenum to colistin. Is is everything okay? Adam? You're gonna be fine. Your body has taken up a set of germs that is fighting against almost everything that we have available for you. That's horrible. What is it even called? Our official diagnosis is carbapenemase producing enterobacter. Cloacae. It looks grim and sounds scary, especially if you don't show signs of improvement in the next few days. But we have hope for you. We've changed your treatment of Dorapenum to Callistin and we'll see how you do. How did I even get it? It may have been due to the catheter that we were using to treat you in the first place. Proper cleaning procedures may not have been taken when the catheter was being prepped, and it may have been rushed due to your condition after the crash. We apologize. So, this could have been prevented if everything was properly cleaned? Yes, unfortunately. I've seen carbapenum resistant anterior bacteria ACA before. It's only happened when the doctor or assisting members did not take up all the sanitary precautions before treating someone. It usually develops when someone already has an existing infection as well. The pneumonia was probably what kickstarted everything after the infection of the catheter, which is why your fever still persisted. I'm scared. Will the colistin work? I don't want to promise anything, but I have high hopes for it. Colistin has been used to treat other forms of carbapenum resistant enterobacteriaceae, including Klebsiella pneumoniae and other beta lactamase enterobacteriaceae. We're all hoping for the best. Three weeks later. We're glad to see that you're finally out of here, Adam. Me too, Doc. Thanks for, again for everything. That CRE is some nasty stuff. The end. The end. The end. Uh...